So I'm Chad. I'm the owner and operator of Anarchy Off-Road Utah. Uh, we've been in business since June of 2023. Um, everyone keeps asking me, what is Anarchy Off-Road Utah? And how did it start? So Anarchy Off-Road Utah started as um, all of us as friends, uh, getting together, guiding everyone on local trails, um, primarily focusing more on rock crawling, uh, whether it be side-by-sides or Jeeps. So what we focus on here at the shop, what about the buggy guys? Buggies as well. So, so Brent runs a buggy and two side-by-sides and a TJ Jeep. Um, I run a Jeep and a side-by-side. -side. Uh, Brad runs a side-by-side, -side, soon to be a Jeep, hopefully. Randy runs a side-by-side -side as well as a soon-to-be-done buggy. Um, so we're all super excited for what this summer has to offer. Um, but in the shop, details of what we do here. Um, so we're a full suspension shop. Uh, like I said, we, we primarily focus on rock crawling. So with side-by-sides, you know, we, we try hard to push portals. We, uh, we push the bigger tires, gear reductions and transmissions. Um, and suspension's a big thing, of course. And we also focus on a lot of the Jeep stuff of, you know, gearing, uh, slip yoke eliminators, uh, RCV axles. Our plan and our goal here is to have fun um, where we're not trying to, we, we understand that this isn't a million dollar idea. It's just going to be super fun for us as a group of guys to offer a service here in the basin for off-roading. Um, we focus a lot on our out-of-town people. Uh, we know that you came here from outside of town. Um, your time here is limited. So we do a lot to go out of our way to make sure that if you have an issue here in our area, that we take care of you in a very quick and timely manner. We have some amazing uh, mechanics here at our shop. Uh, and not only do we have amazing mechanics here at the shop, we have an amazing group of friends. Um, so say we wind up with an issue um, that we're unfamiliar with, uh, with the background that we have here and the group of friends that we're surrounded by, uh, there's generally nothing that we can't accomplish. So we generally have less than a week to two week turnaround, depending on how quick your parts get here, whether it's a Jeep or a side-by-side -side or anything. Um, besides that, what, what else is there? Even if you broke down on the trail, there's ways that we can get there to get it taken Yeah, so well. we're, right, we're right in the middle of May, you know, building an off-road tow truck. Um, we, we have, we've been pulling people out and helping people here for gosh, as long as I can remember. Um, so whether the snow is four feet deep or you're buried out in a mud hole or whatever, um, we, we have a whole group of us that go help out here in the basin. Um, we're also right in the middle of building a 1979 Chevy one ton uh, tow truck that hopefully within the next few weeks it'll be ready to go. Um, our community here is what makes us who we are. Um, we're, we're very good friends with all the local shops, uh, whether it's Viper Machine or RR Motorsports or uh, the K&M dealership or the Honda dealership or Polaris. Um, they, they work with us very well. They've been friends of all of ours for years and years and years. Um, so it makes it very easy for us to get things accomplished here. As long as we can get our hands on the parts in the same day, you know, we can get it down and out in the same day. So this is a customer's 2016, I believe, uh, XP1000. It's got an aftermarket turbo kit on it. Um, what happened was he had a, I'm, I'm guessing a major malfunction with tuning or something like that, but anyway, so it blew the whole bottom out of the exhaust manifold and we are custom building him a brand new one because they don't sell a new one. Uh, the company no longer offers the kit, anything like that. So when it comes to specialty projects like that, this is where the shop really shines because nobody else would take on this project here in the basin. Um, this is a 2017 Articat Prowler, I believe. Um, 
so these are kind of a, a basket case. Um, I love taking on projects like this. This this machine went to three other local shops here in town, um, and they were diagnosing from a, a bad engine to a bad transmission. And basically, what it boiled down to is the rear end was bad. Um, there's a small clutch pack in the rear end. Um, found out that that's what it was, and we got it fixed up for them. Well, the parts are on order. These are crazy projects because it's almost impossible to find parts for them. Um, and luckily enough, with what available dealers we have, um, we have a little more options than most people do on finding parts for harder to deal with machines like this. And if you want to see, I can show you. So on these prowlers, basically, it would drive fine in four-wheel drive. It would not drive fine in two-wheel drive rear. Um, so inside here is basically a, a clutch basket style that goes inside the front to rear diff. Um, it's a very horrible design and I would imagine back in the day when they first opened the concept and the, the availability for the Prowler that it would be able to replace these clutch packs. Unfortunately, it's very hard to find parts for them. So it had to get an entire rear end replacement and out of every possibility I had to find parts for this machine, there was only two available in the world. So, uh, you know, but, but like I said, we, we got him, we're gonna get him fixed up, get him out the door, yeah, customer super happy. You know, he has, he has spent thousands of dollars at other shops trying to diagnose this problem, and uh, I'm super happy that we were able to tear it apart and truly find out what the issue is and take the time to really help him. <laughs> This is a super cool um, <clears throat> and unique project. Uh, so this is like a 2023 Can-Am Defender Lone Star HD10. Uh, this this side by side has just been an amazing build, um, an amazing customer, and also an amazing friend. So this has got uh, it's got GDP, four inch portals, 30% gear reduction. It's running a dual idler. <clears throat> it's on a full HCR long travel suspension. It's running a full Zebros uh, dual rate suspension setup on it. Um, it's got, I can't remember where uh, the top part came from, um, but I, I think these are amazing. It really makes these cars tough. Right now, uh, we have some issues with this car. It's got some busted rear axles. Um, he ran it off the road. And we're, we're fixing a few things to get the, the front end put back together. But this is a this is a monster truck of a UTV. It's, a, it's an amazing build. It, it, the ride quality is so smooth. It turns like butter, um, locked or not. And the, the best thing about this is we're fixing to wrap this machine uh, with a fresh wrap from Anarchy. So it'll be an Anarchy Off-Road Utah wrap. We're going to install on this thing to kind of help showcase what we do here. Um, <coughs> over here, we have uh, one, of our, one of our buddies, Brad. He, uh, he's got some issues with the snowmobile uh, not going in reverse. I believe we have it down to, what was it Brad, the, the yeah, intake yes, tubes was off and the TPS has got an issue to where it won't go in reverse. <clears throat> so this here is uh, my 1989 uh, CJ7. There, there's not a lot of CJ7 left on it. And we're right in the process of building a new cage. Uh, so one of the cool things that we can do here is we have we have the capability, we have a shear, um, we have a badass JD squared tubing bender. Um, so this is all inch and a half, or no, inch and three quarter is this. Uh, it's all 120 wall. Uh, we're just right in the process, it's all tacked together. We got a window frame it in and do a couple other small things to get it out the door and get this dang thing ready for uh, the Great American Crawl in March. Uh, this project here uh, is a good friend of all of ours. Um, you guys will meet him at some point. His name's Dave Richens. Super solid guy. Um, <clears throat> the car has high lifter, 
front A arms, inch and a half forwarding. Uh, it's got super ATV, high clearance uh, boxed A arms in the rear. He is on a single idler GDP portal. Um, he's running the GDP gear ductor transmission as well. And uh, he had a little bit of a, a hiccup <laughs> getting out of the clamshell and he's bent his lower control arm on the passenger side. So we're just gonna get it put back together for him. This is a cool shop build that we just finished up. Uh, this customer uh, bought this car brand new. It has less than a thousand miles on it. Uh, he wheels with some pretty crazy guys that uh, go to Sand Hollow and his car was having issues keeping up with where these newer cars could go. And he really didn't want to sell it because it's paid for um, and it's, it's still new, it's got low miles. And he asked us for some help and some suggestions on how to make this thing a monster truck and a badass rock crawler. Uh, so, so what we wound up going with was the 40, uh, it's the four inch GDP, 30% gear reduction portals um, on Super ATV bead locks with a zero offset. Uh, and then we wrapped it in the 32 inch Rock Monster by OBOR. I um, am super love with this company. Um, I love what they're doing. I love that they offer a big variety of tires on top of um, some good options on different compounds for stickies. And if you're more wanting to rock crawl and drive on the road, which is basically what this is, I believe this is a, what is the 32 and the 35? It's a, it's a durometer, what, 59? 59. I think it's a 59. Um, their 37 comes in a 54 or 52. 52. Um, and the, the Maxxis Rockzilla is a 52, uh, which is also a great tire. Um, we did Super ATV uh, steering on these tie rods. So the biggest concern when you go to such a, a big port when you add so much weight on the outside of these cars is, I mean, especially the older style 900s and XP 1000s and even like the Turbo 1000 and the Turbo S's, they're super prone to having tie rod issues because they snap so easy when you push up against a rock or you just happen to catch something because you're making the car so much wider and you're putting so much more of a bind on the steering that that's a, that's a must when you do some portals. So this RS1, I believe is a 20, 17 or 18 I can't remember uh, so this customer it's been a long customer since we've been open um, this car is super cool it's got HCR long travel um, I can't remember what axles we put on this thing but uh, they are the the nitro pro series I mean this is a super top-end axle very expensive um, and we've done everything from uh, stereo system on this thing. It's got everything under the sun. It's a super cool car, super cool build. Uh, what we're fixing to do to this thing uh, is what everybody in the world wants to do to an RS1, which is we're going to stretch this thing, I believe 29 inches. So we'll basically add a whole nother seat. And then once we stretch it, we will take it down to our good friends at Voodoo and uh, they'll build a new cage for this car, which uh, it's gonna look badass because everything they do is super quality, great cages. <clears throat> Over here is the soon to be done tow truck, uh, the Anarchy Off-Road tow truck. Um, and you're probably thinking to yourself, looking at it like, oh man, Chad, that's a two wheel drive truck. How are you gonna be in off-road recovery? Well, it's simple. There, there's a parts truck outside rocking its Dana 60. Um, we're gonna rob the transmission, the 205T case. Um, this thing's going on a rough country six inch full suspension leaf lift. Um, not quite sure what we plan on doing with gears for now. We might leave the four tins in it for now to see what we wind up with in the future. But <clears throat> we're getting out of the dually. The dually's going away, we'll go to a single wheel. Um, I believe we're going to be running <coughs> a uh, Super Swamper SX2. Um, I've ran them on a lot of Jeeps. I've ran them on a lot of cars. They're not a great highway tire by any means, but they are a very affordable tire. Um, the 37s I ordered for this are a 37, 14, 50, 17. I think they delivered to our door for 15, 1600 bucks. Um, 
and it is an amazing off-road tire <clears throat> in the sand. Uh, it's, a, it's a monster in the snow. I absolutely love them in the snow. They do phenomenal in the rocks. Um, and that's just because the tire is basically like a 10 ply, I believe it's a low range E, and it has like an 8 ply top. So it just, it just bites everything a little better. So super pumped for this build. Hopefully um, our, our goal is to really push this to have this done before summer. Um, we're just trying to weasel it in between projects and work here and there. Uh, what we did to keep this thing reliable, um, super excited fact I can just show you. We put a, so it's still got the factory 454. Um, what we wound up doing was we changed out the intake manifold uh, to a JEGS intake manifold and we actually went with the Bandit fuel injection series on this truck. Um, we're not looking to push a bunch of horsepower or nothing. The biggest thing for us is going to be reliability um, for off camber, going up hills, hauling heavy loads. I think that uh, this platform is going to work out phenomenal for what our plans are for the truck. So hopefully in the next few weeks we can get this thing wrapped up and actually start daily driving this bad boy. Um, here, here is uh, the cream of the crop projects that we always have going on here. Um, so it is exactly what it looks like. It is a it is a rancher's uh, UTV. This thing has like twenty thousand miles on it. Um, he dusted the engine. Uh, we rebuilt the engine for him. Um, it had some rear end issues. We had to pull the rear end apart. Uh, we put new bushings in this thing. Uh, we basically re revived it back from the dead. Um, super solid. It runs and drives great. We're just waiting on the customer to come pick it up and uh, it'll be out of here. We'll move on to the next one for them. So we are located <coughs> 2359 South, 1500 East in Naples, Utah. Uh, if you, we would love to have you come down, come check out. So we have a showroom. Uh, we have a 10,000 square foot shop. Um, you can get a hold of us at 435-789-6667 or you're more than welcome to get a hold of my personal cell at 435-823-1291. Um, we offer nights, weekends, yeah, it doesn't matter. We understand that when you're in a bind you need help um, and we're more than happy to crawl out of bed and it's just because we enjoy it. It's stuff that we have fun doing. Um, doesn't make it a job, it just makes it a fun experience for everybody.